What's up my Fina loves? It's Miss Fina D coming to you all from Fina Entertainment News now. Even though Dr. G, new wife, Sweetie, is a vet. Hey, happy Veterans Day. I'm here chilling with the husband and we are out to eat. Getting our eat on on Veterans Day because that's what I love to do. Get me a nice juicy steak here at Texas Row House, one of my favorite places. Yay! <laughs> he's 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 on he chowing on down. <laughs> and she have another job that she's doing. The Married to Medicine producers decided to introduce her on the narrative of, you know, she's a gold digger. And also, she came on the show and she thought it was a safe space, joking around, you know, forgetting that it is reality TV. And anything you say, even if you're joking, could be twisted. And she made the comment that, you know, the best thing about being engaged to Dr. G is having access to the money, meaning his money. She was joking. As you can see the comment on the screen, she responded, confirming that it was taken out of context and that it was edited, okay? I already did a video on this. That's the reason why I'm not reading the comment again. If you go to the Married to Medicine playlist, you can see all of the videos I did on it, okay? So after all of this, she hopped on Instagram Live to have a conversation with the Married to Medicine supporters. And during that Instagram Live, she talked about this whole situation and also responded to a few people who kept mentioning Dr. Heavenly and also her husband, ex-wife. Let's get into it. Is that really like did us some justice? Like Gregory is the only person that come to my life that like I don't just stay mad at him. Like of course we just like any other relationship, we gonna argue, we gonna fuss and fight. But like I always seem to fall back in love with him. Like first of all, the man is fine as hell. Okay? A silver fox, fine as hell. Fine. Fine fine. Like the beard did him some justice for real. Like I was like, God damn. I met him when he had his beard. And I was like, I saw an old picture of him. I was like, damn, why, why, you, why didn't you start growing out the beard before? Like, what, like, like you, you, you straight up daddy, like, daddy, like you on sexy man status. Like, he fine, and he's he's very caring. He's giving. He's loving. He is a gentleman, a man's man. Yeah, like he, he he's everything. I love him very much. Um, but yeah, um, he's the only person that can come into my life, and I feel like no matter, even if I'm mad at him, like he always does something to wheel me back in. Like, you know, we flirt with each other. Like, we just like to have fun. We were just at the airport, and I was like, he was getting something at the counter, and I was like. Damn, I was like, ooh, he was winking at me. I was like, damn, fine. <laughs> and Alicia was looking like laughing at us since she's recording us. <laughs> it was funny. Um, Jackie, I ain't about to get into Jackie. I stay out of, I, see, I stay, I'm not in my business unless you come over from my marriage. I stay out of people's marriage. Don't forget um, your free food Veterans Day. Oh, I ain't gonna forget that, baby. I'm going out for Veterans Day. I'm going out. Hold on, y'all. I'm checking a checking a message. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay, I was checking a message. Yeah, I'm trying to use it to my advantage. I think that like I was a little unprepared to become to come on the show because I wish I had my business and all that set up, and that's why I didn't really want to come until I figured it out. Because I'm still trying to figure out me. Like I have a career, I have a job, um, but I also want to get to a point where I have my own as far as like something off to the side that I can um, generate some money from and something that I enjoy and I love. And that's why I thought about doing the medicinal teas because I had had all these medical issues like endometriosis i always had bad menstrual pain my whole life and um the endometriosis thing didn't come about until february we started filming in march and um i didn't feel like i had anything to film like i was telling um one of the producers i was like i don't have anything to film I was like, I don't have anything. Like, I, I'm not that interesting. Like, I just, I work from home. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really do any. But then, like, I mean, all of a sudden, like, I had this pain in my stomach. And then I could not walk. And I ended up going to the hospital. I called Gregory. Gregory stopped everything. He came to pick me.
me up. He took me to the hospital. He wasn't even, because of COVID, he wasn't even able to be in the um, lobby. But he still was trying to be in the lobby with me. He got escorted out by the cop <laughs> because he wanted to stay next to me. And then whenever, I'm going to, eventually I'm going to upload some of the stuff because I had took like a video of me laying in the bed, laying in the hospital bed. It was so crowded in there. They had me in a hallway laying in a hospital bed. But he was just sitting by my side and finally let him, I was there for hours. And then that's when I went over to um, Simone and she referred me to the specialist. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, I don't think that she's happy. I don't think she's happy. If she sits around in her closet, like the boogeyman and talking about other people. Like, where, I mean, where, I mean, you got multiple jobs and you have time to get on YouTube. I mean, where is your husband? Go tend to him. Okay, you talk about being submissive and then you find a woman that's finally being submissive to her husband and doing things and then all of a sudden it's still a problem. Like, you just, you gonna complain just to complain. Like, girl, go be with your husband. Go do something. You if you have all these jobs like and then you still have time to get on YouTube and then you over here educating women and all that like who the fuck wanna go to Dr. Hell University you talking about I gotta take care of the kids take care of my husband I gotta cook and clean plus I gotta work I gotta also gotta work at multiple jobs and also manage all the money like who the fuck wanna sign up for that <laughs> like like just just being you like do you do you don't worry about me Stay over there. Don't worry about me. How do you feel about comparing? Okay. How do you feel about people comparing your your YouTube quality and looks and body? There's no comparison. God made me the way he made me. God made her the way he made her. And there's no comparison. Like to me is, first of all, we were married to the same man. He liked what he saw. He liked what he see now. Like, like I'm not worried about it. Like, one, I feel like I'm fine. I'm a fine ass woman. If someone loves me, like, what, what more can I say? I'm loved. I ain't tripping. I had a couple of medical issues and all that going on, but I'm loved. And I'm blessed. I'm very blessed. Thank you. Mm -mm. I got you back in the conversation. Thank you. Are you just skipping out the killing it? Or, like I said, I didn't watch the show. Like, I don't know why y'all think that I'm stuck this man. I, I did not watch it. I did not know. I give everybody a chance. I give everybody a chance to when I meet them. Like I like I genuinely I just I started on an equal foot. I didn't go and study. Toya wanted me to go and watch the I couldn't even get through it. Like I and it's like I'm on a show that I didn't really watch. I mean I wa I watched the clips on Instagram that popped up on my but I don't even get on social media that often. Like yeah, like I have to force myself to do it. And yes, I am from Colleen, just by the way. But like I didn't know, you know what I'm saying? Like she was cool. I mean she was cool. She was the one that was always calling me. She calling she called she, you know, we were going for walks and stuff like that. I mean she was cool. But like I didn't you know, hey, I don't I didn't know. But fool me once. Shame on feel fool me once. Shame shame on me, but fool me twice. You ain't gonna be able to do it again. What? I said, I'm here. Alicia is, in, is my name. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I said, no, I mean, fool you once. Shame on her. Fool me twice. That's shame on me. That's what I meant to say, y'all. I'm sorry. But you made money before him. I sure, I did. I work for the intelligence community. I'm a veteran, and um, I'm a disabled veteran at that. And I do well for myself. Like, it wasn't like I needed Gregory. Like, but I sure appreciate his help. And finally, because I've been doing it all alone by myself, and when finally I got a partner to come and say, "Baby, you ain't got to pay no bills," and then, what's up? Come on now. The house almost paid off. She got. Come on now. Be smart about it. Be smart about it. I love you.
that she takes the time and reads your comment and doesn't doesn't have a problem answering the negative ones. Oh, uh, sweetie, don't forget to get your free food. Okay, I saw that. Dr. G, you have beef with Bazina. We don't know nothing about that. People just put anything out. We, Gregory does not talk to that man. I, I've never met him. Like, Gregory don't have a whole bunch of friends either. So, like, no. No. Like, I don't know what, what that is about. Why didn't Dr. G sell his house? Why sell it when it's almost paid off? And interest rates is high to impress other people. Why? Come on now. Helen is doing too much. She either takes one line and runs with the girl. Fuck that damn. Yeah, fuck her. And you YP, they made, they mad, they had to work overtime. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, she's older than my mother. So it's just like, it's so weird to me. Like, I explained it, like, I date... I dated Gregory, okay, I'm a woman, and he is now my husband, but also, like, I mean, that that's, that's different in that sense, like, he was someone I was attracted to, he was someone that was so sweet and gentle with me, like, that, like, that was different, but, like, when it comes down to women, I don't date women, I don't date, you know, other women, and it, like, and they're my mom's age, older than my mom. So it was just weird, and it's weird that she's being so childish. Like, but I'm gonna rise above it. It's all good, baby. It's all good. Um, I met my hubby 20 years online, married 28 years. Hey, girl. Hey, sweet tea said, "Ooh, got him." <laughs> I'm gonna start using that phrase. I, I was waiting for a man, my man, to her mouth too. Ooh, got him. <laughs> How long did uh, y'all date? Mm-hmm. We started dating, what was it, February of 2020? Yeah, February of 2020, we took a break, and then we started, we resumed in October 2020, and then we resumed um, March or April of 2021, and then we've just been dating since then. How do I feel about him like you saying that I'm going to leave Dr. G? She just talking, like, I don't even know why y'all listen. Like, she, it's like, it's like when the aunties want to gossip about they, they nieces and stuff like that at the barbecue. That's what she doing. She just want to gossip. Like, she ain't got nothing to do. Like, baby, go find you some business. Like, me, me and my friend, me and my homegirls outside dancing and all that, and you over here with all the rest of the aunties drinking your sip of wine, sipping the wine and in the house just talking about us because you ain't got shit else to talk about. That's what it's given. Go ahead and fix you a plate and, 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 and turn on Real Housewives and get you some business. Don't worry about what I got going on. Um, are we eventually going to buy a new home? We might. I mean, it depends on, it depends on everything. We might. We got a lot. I mean, it's it's so much. There's so many things that we had to do with getting married. The wedding was super expensive, and a lot happened with that. So I don't know. We might and just we gonna play it by ear. But right now, with the interest rate, it's not it's not a good it's not a good thing to do right now. And the house is almost paid off. Yeah, married in six months after engagement. He loved me, sweet tea. You know the Air Force. Hold on, sweet tea. You know that in the Air Force or in the Navy, you don't let your left hand know what the right hand is doing, boo. You were right about that. Aren't you scared that Greg will be attracted to your twin sister? You look so much alike, girl. No, Greg, you know the difference. And like, no. First of all, I'm a twin. And he's a twin. Like, come on. Like, we 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 know the twin thing. Like. We, it's twin code, and only me and him will understand that. We're both twins. Like, no, and my sister's married, like, it's different. Girl, that's a silly question. Y'all want, want the man to sell the house in some of y'all in apartments? That's what I'm saying. Some of y'all come in here demanding stuff, and you ain't got nothing. Ain't got nothing to your name. Ain't got nothing. And you just come in and start demanding. I just think that that's doing too much. Why are living situation bothering them? Mad 
girls club so high school ish yes also who wants to buy a house these internet these interest rates i'm sorry i guess the house is beautiful thank you congratulations listen to heavenly it's messy keep your eyes on it when sweet tea dr heavenly was asking to be the godmother why did you say it at the same time Why did we say it at the same time? Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, okay. Yeah, she was talking about she want to be the godmama and stuff. And then she just keep talking trash. It's like, girl, I would never allow you to be around my child. Okay? To subject to your craziness. I would never allow that. And I was just asking, you and Dr. G are making it home. Right, I'm making it home. It was a house when I got here, and I'm making it home. Like, I had no attachment to it. No attachment. No type of like, ooh, I saw you was in this house with this person. Like, I, no. Eventually, we'll, we'll, we'll probably get something new, though. Let me just coast it for now. Okay. Okay, good for keeping the house smart. People make smart financial decisions. Come on now. The wife makes it home. You did it right. You're right. The wife do make it home. Dr. G's got a smart one who don't give a fuck about y'all opinions. So don't. you giving people too much energy. Log on. <laughs> Her twin sister is already married. Yep. She is. Broke people spend money to impress others. They sure do. Oh, at least he asked you. Yeah, he did. He definitely did. And I was just like, okay. We got goals. You know, me and Gray got goals. Like, we're just not going to do stuff just to impress other people. Like, I'm just not going to do it. And we had, you know, I've been putting furniture in this house and I had to, like, you know, I got interior designer, I had to pay. I mean, we've been spending a whole bunch of money wedding, furniture in the house, uh, paying the interior designer to come in and do what you got to do. Shout out to Brandy because Brandy, you did good, girl. You did good. But, like, I'm not about to be spending a whole bunch of money. I'm saving my money. Duh, duh, duh. Okay. Greetings, Mrs. Lunch, for watching you from South Africa. What's up? Hey, say that girl, you're naturally pretty, thank you. Real talk, that's real talk. Okay, girl, are you and Toya related? You look so much alike. Nope, we're not related, we just look alike. That's my uh, play sister. Fuck them up. Excuse me. <laughs> what they say in Texas, fuck with your, okay. What was the uh, rank in the Air Force when I got, okay, when I got out, I was E5. Staff Sergeant. Did not sponsor or pay for your wedding. No. <laughs> I was already in the works of planning my wedding before they approached me. They helped out with some stuff they did, but I was already um, in the works of doing that. But you'll, you, you'll, you'll see in the season, like, what happens for the wedding. You'll see. You'll see. Just saying, preach. Just you, yes, and they don't have a man or a ring. Okay, right, or a ring. And he put a fat one. We are going to get it right. He put a big one, and I didn't even ask for, like, a super big ring. I don't, because I don't wear, honestly, y'all, like, I'm just so simple. I don't even wear jewelry. That's what I'm saying. They trying to act like, I, you know, material. I'm so not. Like, I don't even wear jewelry that often. I just wear my ring. And he gave me a big one. And I didn't even ask for that. Like, I just was like, oh, I wear a little something, something. Shoot. I, I mean, I showed him what I wanted, and he, he, got me, he got me something bigger and better than what I asked for. Uh, no, her name is not. They took care of that a couple months ago. Um, smart young lady. Okay, very ignorant. Who the hell is? Okay. Complant CP, baby. How many of y'all know about Complant? Did y'all ever Google search that? It's an amazing place. I'm just kidding. It really ain't got nothing. It's country as hell. Like, I was just there for Complant Day. It's country. I'll end up probably posting. Posting something about Complant Day. Um, love you on the show already. Thank you. You go, girl. Your head is on straight. They will keep watching. Preach, preach, my young sister, period. Period, pool. Is that what the kids say nowadays? Cla name is um the D. Is yeah, it's not. It's not. It's not. 
she has her own home and we have our own. So let's go more. Go live more, okay. I didn't, I was just debating if I was gonna go live or not, but I'm getting a lot more comfortable speaking. Like y'all, I have anxiety and I don't really like talking in front of people. I like to talk, but like Vulner BravoCon was a little nerve wracking for me because I really get stage fright. Like I don't really like to talk in front of people, but it's been getting a lot more easier for me now. Um, I'm kind of quiet. I stay to myself, got my little laptop. Speaking of laptop, let me log on back in. Hold up, hold up, hold up. I gotta answer a queen. Oh, crap, y'all. Hold on, y'all. Hold up. Live, honey. F the haters. People need to grow up. Let me just... Oh, let me just put this right here. That I'm aware of that. Um, but I don't have, see how many women, so Lyle says she don't want a man, why it should be an issue. You hit my mama line, not a pot to piss in or a window throw it out, this is why. You are needed on the show, everybody running around Atlanta off the PPP money, <laughs> they will never get. <laughs> are you a gold digger? No, I'm not. Not the cat in the mouth. Yeah, she is sad, she needs to talk about her own marriage, please do. I, clearly it's not interesting the interview was crazy and Carlos was all for it too yeah it was girl stops uh, talking about the money not coming out nice on our end think it but don't share it no I'm gonna share it I'm gonna share it I'm gonna share what makes sense I'm gonna be smart about it like you know I don't want people to make dumbass decisions I'm not gonna act like I'm not going to act like, oh, um, I'm trying to uphold this image and all this. Of course, like, I like nice things and I have nice things, but, like, come on now. No, I don't give a fuck that it's not coming. Like, you can just get off my fucking life. Don't be bullied to dress or live a certain way. Be who you are. Exactly. Yeah. You ain't got to watch my life no more. Get the fuck off. Don't be bullied to dress. You have a hubby, strong personality, and that's awesome. Thank you. Don't let anyone disturb your energy, you're right? Nope, I'm, I'm a f fan of the show once again. Uh, once again, next question. Why are we talking? We're taking the long road here. Who cares if the name is on the D? Is the name on the D? Y'all are strange. Uh, right. Okay, y'all talking about? her again because he knew it was for a personal gain not y'all are going back and forth with each other on this live um all right how impressive she is everyone loves dr g i love him too happy veteran oh happy veterans day to all the veterans oh veterans today um veterans day is actually what saturday on the 11th the tax on your looks, your uterus, you're using alleged fertility issues as a joke and saying you lied to the man that you can give him babies is low, super low. Like, that didn't happen until later. Like, I did not lie. Like, I, I didn't just, like, I really do want kids. Like, I really want a family. Like, I don't know if you guys see my nephew. He is my whole, whole heart. My everything. I mean, when he came into my life, my life changed. Like, he is my everything. Like, I literally sit when I'm on the plane sometimes and just watch videos of my nephew. Just because I was, I lived with my sister for a little bit and I got to be there with, for him and be there with him and watch him grow. He's three now. Dealt with it all my life too. We had fertility for both my boys. Like, it's so, it was like, to me, it's just kind of unbelievable for me. Like, I, I was just kind of, you know how things happen to other people and you don't think they happen to you? Like, you just you just live life and, and until you cross that bridge and you get there. And, like, I don't know, even when I found out endometriosis, I was just kind of like, oh, okay, like, that don't apply to me. <laughs> That's how I felt, you know? That was my attitude towards it. Like, okay, well, I'm having this baby, so. 
Can't wait for little ones to enter your indoctrination. That lady ain't happy, just like some of these folks on these lives. She not happy is given miserable. <laughs> She's picking on you because she thinks you're weak. I know, I know. But who's the weak one? Who's the weak one? Who is it? Who is it? For you to be doing all that, that's just, that make you look weak. Um, I mean, me being 19, I wouldn't mind having a bonding relationship with Sweet Tea. She's my fave. Oh, thank you. She said you were a student. Yeah, I was, as I was a student because I was supporting her and I paid. See, her Instagram live froze. It was probably Wi-Fi issues, and so it just completely ended. But she basically said, of course, if I'm cool with you and I'm friends with you and building something, of course I'm going to support your business. And that's what she did with Heavenly. She paid to go to the university. She supported her. But now that she's doing all of this, she's not. The same way how I added that Instagram live where Dr. Heavenly was supporting her business, if you go to the marathon medicine playlist you can see that moment as well but anyways i'm glad that she's doing okay i'm glad that her marriage is going strong i'm wishing all of you well and take care and please do not forget to click those links in the description below and support your girl the event planning website is in there the boutique website link is in there and also the link to subscribe to my members only i wish all of you well and take care thank you all for your love and support if you're not subscribed to the channel go ahead and subscribe to the channel go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up also turn notifications so when i do post you where i post it and i will see you all in the comment section remember to always have the god bless attitude which is being positive at all times and seeing the good in every situation have a great day guys god bless you.